Hey, Patrick here with another Tech Tip video for the day. I am a civil technical specialist with ATG. Today's video, I will discuss the differences between attachment versus overlay when XREFing in a DWG. So here on the screen, we have when you XREF in a DWG, you have an attachment option and an overlay option. So to start off with attachment, is essentially going to be attaching one DWG to another and that attachment is going to follow the DWG wherever you go in. So if I attach XREF B to XREF A, whenever I uh, XREF in XREF A into the existing drawing, XREF B is going to follow and I will show you that in just a moment. So we're going to attach XREF B to XREF A. We're going to hit save. All right. Now when I XREF in XREF A, now at this point it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to be just going to hit attach, attach XREF B, that was right here, and it was attached to XREF A. It followed in with it because XREF B is attached to XREF A. The difference between XREF or the attaching and uh, overlay is that if I were to just use overlay option when attaching XREF B to XREF A, uh, the XREF B would just be visually inside of XREF A. So you would not, when you XREF in XREF A to the existing drawing, XREF B would not show, and I'll do that just right now. Detach these. Come back into my XREF. Detach here. Now I'm going to use the overlay option. So I'm going to overlay XREF B into XREF A. Notice it's in XREF, it's in this overlaid here. Don't visually notice anything different, but once we bring it into this drawing here, oh, save it first. This time only XREF A came in because we overlaid XREF B into XREF A. So in short, that uh, is pretty much the difference between attaching an XREF and overlay an XREF. That's it for today's tech tip video. I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.